morning, board members. My name is Genevieve Gale. I'm a policy associate with the Central Valley Air Quality Coalition, or CBAC. I'd like to stray from the norm. Um, I'm not going to offer any policy recommendations, but rather tell you a short story, a true story. Uh, this story begins last year. The Fresno County of Gov Council of Governments, or FCOG, uh, conducted a robust public survey to solicit input on preferred land use and transportation scenarios in the county. FCOG hosted or participated in over 32 community meetings and also circulated an online petition. This survey uh, resulted in almost 1,500 responses and demographics mirror the county's demographics pretty well. The preferred scenario by the public was scenario B. Uh, it focused on transit-oriented development high quality transit options, walkable and bikeable streets, and compact and mixed use development. So that's scenario B as in bike. The least desired scenario was scenario C, and this moved investment away from active transportation and toward highway widening projects and road enhancements. So that's scenario C as in car. When the scenarios were evaluated, uh, scenario B ranked highest for GHG and BMT reductions. It offered more transit rides, more bike rides, more walks, and it ranked lowest for premature deaths. Scenario C trailed in all respects. It offered less transit and less bike rides and less walks, and it had just a 1% lower reduction in GHGs. You can think about what your preferred scenario is. <laughs> Um, in the end, scenario C was chosen, and the argument was that all scenarios met CARB's GHG reduction targets for the region. So while scenario B outperformed and was the public's number one choice, it wasn't necessary because the status quo was good enough. Um, so the people of Fresno County will see more investment in our freeways and roadways, and it'll be easier to drive a car. It will not be easier to bike, it will not be easier to walk, and it won't be easier to breathe. So like I said, um, I won't give you any policy recommendations, but the moral of the story, I'll, I'll leave that up to you to decide. But I can't help but wonder uh, if we had just a 1% higher target, what our future would look like.